Hello, good morning. I'm on my way to my naturopath this morning. She's my doctor for all things female hormones. Basically saved my life, I think. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Enjoy the sunshine if you've got it. It's another beautiful morning and I'm on my way to the library. I did a rather crazy thing. I went on the library site and ordered some books about home decorating and I'm taking some back. This bag of four books weighs 20 pounds because all the books are huge and with glossy pages and they're beautiful, but they're sure heavy. And the, the reason I ordered so many was because I wanted to see um, what what new ne decorating styles are like, plus especially what the artwork is like in homes. And it's it's kind of amazing because even though uh, sometimes the decorating is really traditional, it the um, art is all pretty much modern art, abstract. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but I, you have to keep in mind that the, um, the people who are making the books are decorators decorating some pretty high-end homes usually, not necessarily the homes, the home that I would live in or that you might live in, and you'd have to, you know, clarify that with me if you want to, but I do find it interesting what the trend is and yeah so it's kind of kind of going well where does my art fit in that's one thing you have to kind of keep in mind as an artist but uh, and the other thing is paint paint what you love and be happy doing it which is kind of where I'm leaning anyway I'm gonna get my books into the library believe it or not when they started coming in well I ordered them I requested them through on the internet and usually what I do is put a pause on the hold right away. I got a stone in my shoe and um, and that way they don't come in right away but for some reason the, the library system wouldn't allow that and I ended up getting 24 of them all at once. So I'm slowly going through them one one by one and and really enjoying them but it and it's so fun and it also helps me to figure out a little more in a little more refined manner what my style is in decorating and in art and things like that so I'll share a little bit more about that later here's our little library it's actually right beside kind of the main road through town which makes this video a little bit noisy but um, I thought I'd show you this absolutely gorgeous, huge maple tree in front of the library. It's just, I love the trees here. They're so huge. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to get this 20 pounds off my shoulder and pick up some more. Um, I know, it's an addiction. Well, I returned my 20 pounds of books. I would actually weighed them because they're so big and heavy and my shoulder hurts now. But I returned my 20 pounds of books and picked up five more books, which I had requested. The weight of which is, I'm pretty sure it's maybe seven or eight. Feels like I'm getting away with something because they're so light. I'm in the park here and I'll just, um, it's, it's beautiful as you can see behind me. I live in a really pretty village surrounded by mountains. Anyway, one of the things I wanted to talk about for this video was uh, following your dreams when you're over 50. And I'm in a farming community, so even though I turn down this, the background sound, sometimes you get these noisy pickup trucks come blasting by and young guys loved their pickup trucks to make a lot of noise so I was thinking th about this for a while and I saw someone else's video about following your dreams oh, after after midlife 
and how you know we we get caught up in what we have to do and that's that's pretty normal but once your kids are kind of up and out of the house if you had kids or once you're kind of reaching the end of a job, career, or whatever, or you have just find yourself with more time, or or you find yourself just not having enough happiness in your life because you're not doing what you really, really love, then now is the time. And my motto is kind of, if not now, when? My daughter and I have traveled together, and it's been a case of, if not now, when? I mean, my daughter obviously is younger than I am, I had her when I was 22, so she's not that much younger, but I've kind of looked at my life and gone, okay, I've, I've done a lot of things, but there's still a lot I want to do, and I'm not going to wait because who knows, you know? You don't know how much time you get. For example, if you loved painting when you were a child, maybe you should start painting. And, and why not? If not now, when? It's not just about painting, but I know a lot of women in my age group want to paint. And so get out a brush, buy some paints. It doesn't matter how good it is. Just if all you do is put paint on paper and not try to achieve anything, I think you'll love it. But your thing could be something else. Like a lot of people who follow me, uh, when I was doing glue books, especially, and junk journals, a lovely thing to do. It's just a lovely thing to do, and why not? I had a comment recently, a lady in her 70s said, all I want to do now is relax and enjoy myself doing creative things. So now is the time. Let's, let's do it. And I'm thinking of creating some courses, perhaps, or some retreats or get-togethers or things like that. I would love, love, love it if you would tell me if that's something that you are interested in. It, no obligation or anything. Just, just leave a comment below and say, yeah, I would love that or yeah, I'm interested in this, that or whatever. And let's see what we can come up with together. There's just some fun ideas and there goes another one of those noisy pickups. Well, I continue to work on this painting and I tried some different things. And my motto is just keep painting till it looks good. But in this case, it just wasn't looking good. And so I decided it's time to call it a day. And this is where it ended up. As you can see, the more paint I added, well, the less I liked it. And I first put the big flower in yellow and I didn't like that at all. It didn't go with the color family. And then the purple one, I, I don't know. It just it just wasn't working. I like the um, this bright pink background, kind of neon, and some of these other bright colors, but it just wasn't working for me. So I put it away and did something different. What I was after was something more like this, or like this one. And for some reason, it just it just wasn't working out. And sometimes it's a matter of not being really in the mood, being distracted. I was painting in the evening or late afternoon, and my husband kept coming in and talking to me. And sometimes it's just hard to concentrate. So I was looking to do something like this, which I'm really happy with. And I chose to do to just start over with another sheet of paper. It had nothing on it but just a pale blue background. So I I created this one and let me just adjust this. And I think I'm not quite finished, but it's way better and I'm way happier with it. And I've got the um, colors that I want and that sort of abstracted floral feel. It's supposed to be kind of a bouquet, but it looks more like a flower bed. I wanted to just point out that this is how it goes sometimes. Some days things just don't work what you're working on just doesn't work and and might never really work so it's a good idea to just put it away and work on something else or just give yourself some time that's what i did please subscribe and click the little bell and i would love it if you'd leave a comment below and i'll see you next time